Hello, today we are going to crochet basket weave stitch. Here's the swatch that I made as an example. This is using a crochet hook. This is size 5.5 millimeters and this is worsted weight yarn. So I'm going to be using this swatch in the scrumble that I'm creating and I'll go more into scrumbles a little later on in the week because I'm just creating a bunch of swatches and then putting them all together. So this looks like a basket. So it looks like it's going up and then under and up and under and it's alternating. Yesterday we went over the front post double crochet and the back post double crochet. We're going to start this by chaining 19 plus 2. And 19 is the base. Let me write that down here. So 19 is the base, the chain. And then when we start this very first double crochet, it's actually two chains is the very first one. So that's why we chain two or chain 19 plus two, so you're chaining 21. But when we start the first row of double crochets, we use the first two chains as our double crochet because we want to end up with 20 double crochets because we're going to be doing, uh, doing in four. So four and then times five will create this first base here, which is here. There we go. All right, let's get into it. I started here with the 21 stitches, or the 21 chain, and the last two that was the first post. So that that was that creates the very first double crochet and then we do 19 double crochets. So I showed you how to do the front post double crochet in yesterday's video and it starts the same way. We just what we want to end up with is 20 of these posts. So this is double crochet and these are the posts right there. To create this, we're going to start, we'll just do the first couple of rows together. We're going to start by just chaining two, and that's our very first post. So that acts as our first double crochet. We want four all together, four front post double crochets. So we're going to do this one and then the next three. So th these three posts, one, two, three, we're going to front post double crochet. So just like yesterday. So there's one, two, yarn over, go right into the post, making sure that I'm using the correct post. So that's there. So these two are the next couple. There's one, two, three, and four. There we go. One, two, three, four. So that's this part here. One, two, three, four. Now to get the this kind of part of the weave, if you turn it over, they're front posts on this side because it's reversed which means we actually want to do back posts to create this line. So I'm going to yarn over and here, one, two, three, four. These are the four posts, those double crochet posts, and we're going to do back. So back post 
We're going back instead of front. Again, we went over this in yesterday's video. Whoops. There's one. The next one. Two. Three. Back post. Four. Now I want to do four front post double crochet. Here's our four posts. Yarn over, front post. Front post. The third front post. The fourth front post. There we go. Now we want to do back posts. Here's our four back posts. Yarn over, go into the back post, get my yarn, come through, and up we go. Last one. And here's our one, two, three, and four front posts. And four. There we go. So that is four front posts, back post, front post, back post, front posts. And it looks nice in this type of sequence where it starts with front posts, ends with front posts, and then up here it starts and ends with front posts. It just looks really nice that way. So now we're going to turn it over. What we want is we're going to be doing two of the exact same rows here. So we want another layer of front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, and then we're going to alternate. So I'm turning over the work. I'm going to do my two chains to create that very first post. And because I turned it over where I end it with front post here, I'm turning it over so I want back posts. I want exactly the same. Here's the first one, so I only need three more posts. So back post, go right in. There's two. Three. Four. And now I want four front posts. back post One, two, three, four, yeah.
and into the back for the back post. And once we create it this, we've done one complete pattern. One, two, three, there it is, three. And then you alternate. So we've done exactly the same thing. When I turn it over, you'll, this is the, the, the back, it's the same thing, like in the back and the front, one, two, three, and then four is that first one. Oops. Okay. So now that I turn it over, so here you can see that we started with one row of double crochets, and then we did front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, turned it over, and then we did back post to create the front post of the, the right side, and then alternate it. So we've got that first, that first part of the pattern. Okay. I'm probably going to speed up the video a little bit just so that I can just show you how to alternate it. So here we have two rows of front post. So now we want to do back posts. So we start our very first post with two chains and now we want back posts. So now we want three back posts. So I'm going to go right into the post. So that's two, yarn over, there's that second post, go right into the second post, okay, and now into the fourth post, one, two, three, four, okay. So now these are the back, the back post double crochet, and we want to do the opposite. So we're going to do front post double crochet. So just look for that first post. Oops. First post. There you go. And we want two rows like this. So we're going to continue on to finish this up. These front posts here. So we want back posts. We want the opposite. Okay, so continue that along where you're going to be doing. So now you'll want to do four front posts. There's your posts right there. And then back posts, turn it over and do that again. So it'll be back posts here and then alternate it. Now remember yesterday's lesson, we were doing just front post. And this is what you can make if you just do just front post. You have this really cute little hat. So that's yesterday's video. If you want to take another look at front post, back post. And here is the basket weave. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you again this week.